Hey guys, I'm here. We are back with another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today to take a quick look at the NZXT Kraken X53. So what we are going to do on this particular video is to take a quick look on how to install the Kraken X53. Really easy. So for those of you that are on the fence, water cooling, difficult, no water cooling, really easy and great performance. And besides that, I'm going to sit a little bit right over there to show you the software that NZXT has been using. And we have used it for quite some time. So we have been watching a few improvements, which are great. And I want to show you that. Now, one more thing to mention right over here is that if you are wondering which components I'm using on this setup, just search right over here on the channel and you will find a lot the case, the motherboard, CPU and so on and so forth. So that being said, let's go for it. Now, first of all, the thing is that if you have an AMD or Intel CPU, then the Kraken X53 will fit in. Once we open the package, we will find all the necessary accessories. And of course, the Kraken X53 and everything that we need. Now, the first thing that we will need to do is to go uh, beneath the motherboard and place in the adapter included. Once again, there is for Intel or AMD. Now, once we do that, we just need to select where we want to put the radiator in. In my particular case, I prefer to put it on the front of the case and I'm using a Lian Li LAN Cool 2, which gives me space to put it anywhere, but I do prefer the uh, to have that push in from the front, cool down and then just exhaust on the back. But that's the way that I prefer. If you want to put it on the top, you will be just fine, depending on the case, of course. Now, once we have the radiator placed in, we just need to put the fans on. In this particular case, it has two fans of 120 millimeters each. Now, we have uh, used the X42, which only had one fan. So if you are uh, using a smaller case, you probably want to check that out. But in this particular case, we are using two 120, very silent fan. After that, we will just uh, put on the dissipator or the cooler on top of the CPU and then just screw in so that it gets tight. And that is it. After that, a little bit boring part, which is the connectivity of the wires. At least for me, it's a bit boring, but I'm not going to bore you here which wire goes where. Uh, on the manual, it's very simple to read and easy, so you will find all the instructions right over there. And then after that, we just need to plug in the computer, turn it on and great, we are ready to use. Now, before we move on to the funny things, which is the LEDs, colors and what we can do with the application, just want to mention that a cooler is meant for one thing besides every other things that it does, which is to cool the CPU in this particular case. And I did a stress test besides all the tests that I've made, but with Prime95, which basically for those that don't know, stresses the CPU like crazy, really crazy. When we game and when we render videos and so on and so forth, we will not tax the CPU as much as Prime95. So this is the tool that I use to test out any cooler, air or water cooling. And what I can show you and probably you are watching right now is that everything on a maximum for about one hour and a half, stressing the CPU to the maximum and without touching it, just leaving on a preset, which is the silent mode, which is the one that I prefer, increases roughly 50 degrees Celsius. So not much more than that. Probably if I leave it for eight to 10 hours, it will get a little bit hotter, but then the fans will kick in and it will get lower. Now, if I use a more aggressive curve in terms of cooling, what I can notice is that I will go from 40 to 47-ish on those values. So this will depend on the way that we will use the uh, fan curve. If it's on the silent mode, expect 50 degrees more or less. If it's a little bit more aggressive, expect 40 to 47 ish but one more thing is that if you are playing games and if you are i don't know rendering videos editing after effects and so on and so forth you will not get this kind of punishment in terms 
of the CPU usage. And that being said, let's go for the fun part, which is right over there. Here we are. So I've got this angle right over here, this angle, which uh, I will readjust in just a few moments, and also the angle on my display so that I can show you the app. But before we begin, I would just like to mention something which is really awesome in my opinion. Now this case is the Lian Li Lancool 2, which it's a really nice case. And take a look at this. Uh, the side panels, both of them are glass and easy to open. And it looks like it was meant for this right over here. Check it out. I've got about one centimeter and a half right over here on both sides so i can open close and whatnot this is just awesome and that being said just readjusted this angle so that we can see a little bit better the cooler right over there although we can see on that camera and that camera shows actually the screen right over here and also the cooler so i'm not really sure let's find out now first of all looking at the app itself what we can see right over here on the first tab and we will run this uh, really quickly but to show you the main features we will find a lot of information on the cpu and the gpu network and so on and so forth if we go to system specs then we will have the specifications of my current build i'm going to change these really really soon and then games will not find anything because guess what i don't have time to play games now lightning here we will lose a little bit more time because this is just awesome and as i was saying uh, the uh, cpu cooler is meant to cool the cpu but it's meant to look awesome as well if possible and this is one of those now on that setup on the end i also have a nzxd the x42 but this one right has the dual fans as we have seen now looking right over here on the options we can do a lot at this moment i've got both uh, the ring and also the logo in red and I've got the breathing pattern so I can just go right over here first of all I can select between a lot of things sounds uh, these are uh, when we have music or so on and so forth it will jump with the sound uh, GPU temperature CPU temperature we have a lot I can choose for example pulse so if I choose pulse there we go it's pulsing with uh, some colors if I select and of course I can add a few more colors right over here so it will pulse and change the colors and I'm not going through all of them but uh, we will check just a few so this is the uh, spectrum something spectrum wave right over here we can change the speed the direction and whatnot so a lot of things now I want to show you something right over here which is really cool on the breathing which is my favorite one really simple really nice I can add more colors I can do like this so it will change from one color uh, to the other one that we have selected so there we go we can do a lot but besides that we can do something really nice and let me select the fixed one and right over here besides having a fixed option I can go and customize the LED so I can select blue on this one I can select green I can select I don't know red orange this was not really red red is actually this one probably i'm not really sure <laughs> blue and i don't know the screen and uh, we can go also custom so we can select something uh, different there we go and two more two more so pink and uh, white so let's leave it this as white and as you can see right over here we have a fixed mode and there we go with our customization and all the colors right away so it looks really cool or probably doesn't but it gives me the option to customize the way that i want now let's go back to the breathing which is the one that i'm using and i want to show you something which is right over here on the logo uh, i have red at this moment but i can select to go and green for example or i can select blue if you prefer blue or any other color like with did before so we can change the ring with all the options that we have seen we can also change the logo with a lot of options right over here let me put this back to red okay and of course if you don't want to show anything you also have the option to turn this one off and turn this one off completely and of course if we don't want completely off we just want to give it a little bit and a little bit right over here and a little bit 
on the ring as well we can adjust right over here so in terms of lighting there are a lot of possibilities really cool i was forgetting something that was improved on this model uh, from previous models and sorry about the angles which is the um, ring right over here on previous models like the x42 if i'm not mistaken we had to put it on a position which was fixed but this one i can select any position that i want and then if i need to readjust the logo to get on my case and then I can because we have different cases, we have different scenarios and this is just awesome, gives me the freedom to put the logo the way that I want and this is just just awesome. This was one of the things that I really enjoyed when I was uh, putting. Now besides the lightning, what we have right over here is the overclocking which uh, as you guys know my opinion, although we get some gains in real life usage it's not worth it, but this is just an opinion. If you want to stretch out all the pieces and gears that you have, then go for it. Really nice. And you will have all the info right over here. In terms of cooling, we will have some presets. We have the silent performer custom, which we can customize. I already made one right over here, so uh, we can select that. For me, the silent one is the one that I use. It's this one completely silent. And if by any reason it gets really hot, then the fans will kick in and it will cool down but the case the components everything is balanced so we will not get that much of a temperature and as you can see at this moment 29 28 degrees in terms of cpu the gpu is a bit hotter but just just awesome and then we have the power at this moment i don't have a PC, uh, psu that it's connected to the motherboard so no info right over here same with audio and then at the end we have the settings that we can customize um, overlays and ZXT firmware. Overlays basically if we want to show on our games like we have some other apps we can use NZXT for that which is really nice and then the firmware and so on and so forth. So we have a lot of options but we will not run through it. Guys and basically this is the app and that is it. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual and very appreciated thumbs up right over there. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.